So today we're going to talk about the real reason why autophagy exists. Now, what is autophagy? Autophagy is a condition of the body where you're taking things that the body does not need anymore and putting it through a recycler and spitting out brand new amino acids for both fuel and to be used as raw material to build tissue because a lot of the body is made from amino acids, protein. Now, that's really in simple terms what it is. Now, why did we create this system? Well, we created it for one reason, to cope with starvation. There's something about starvation that is against our survival. Okay, we don't last long when we starve ourselves. But this system was created over eons, not just in our bodies, but other organisms as well, to cope with starvation or not eating. So during starvation, as a survival mechanism, our body will basically take these damaged proteins that we don't need anymore and just turn those into fuel and turn them into raw materials so we can not be deficient of certain building blocks. But the other really cool thing about this is that these damaged proteins are very toxic to our body and it's behind diabetes type 2, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's. Um, so it's very, very beneficial for your survival to get these out of the body. The other thing about autophagy is it will eliminate microbes and viruses. Because here's the problem, you can't kill a virus, but this is one way of getting rid of some of these microbes out of the body. Now, what is a damaged protein? Okay, let's just take the misfolded protein first. To understand this, I just have to explain a little bit about DNA. DNA is basically the blueprints for making proteins, okay? So we have the DNA that is then copied to something called the RNA. So the RNA, which is a copy, travels out of the highly protected fortress, that's called a nucleus, into the space outside that, still within the cell, to a protein factory, okay? It's called the ribosome. So these blueprints now are given to this little factory to make proteins, and it spits out this chain of amino acids in a certain sequence, okay? Then that folds, okay? So it combines in a certain pattern. Looks kind of strange, but that's what proteins look like. And then it's activated. So a folded protein is a 3D activated protein. And I'm not just talking about hair, nails, and skin. I'm talking about enzymes that help you digest, hormones, uh, proteins that help detoxify. Um, they do many things in the body. So when that protein misfolds, so it's folded in the wrong way, it doesn't work anymore and it accumulates in the body. And it can turn into something called amyloid plaquing. And that's what's in the uh, cells that make insulin and diabetes type 2. That's also in uh, the brain and Alzheimer's patients. So the problem with this is that it gets stuck in there and it, it inhibits function, okay? But guess what? Autophagy can get rid of this. And by the way, you need zinc also to help degrade this protein. So this is one type of protein. Then you have oxidized protein. When you combine something with too much oxygen, it can be altered in a certain way, kind of like um, iron. If you expose it to oxygen, it turns into rust, okay? So if you just envision this as this oxygen can rust out your proteins and damage them, and then they don't work anymore. Well, guess what? Your body can actually take these and recycle them. Then you have mutated proteins, which are altered maybe by a chemical or radiation or something like that. And then guess what? That protein doesn't work. It can be recycled though. Then you have something called glycated proteins. When you combine sugar with protein, you alter it and you make it very, very unusable and sticky and it clogs things up. Uh, one example I always use would be barbecued ribs. So you're taking these ribs, this meat, and then you're putting sugar sauce on it and then you're cooking it. So when you're consuming that, you're consuming this damaged protein that doesn't work very well in the body. So it will clog things up and develop something called advanced glycation end products. I have a lot of videos on this. You, I'll put some links down below, but this stuff builds up, clogs things up. It can actually get into your eye, into the lens of the eye and cause cataracts. Well, guess what? 
Autophagy cleans all this stuff up. But here's what you need to know. This system of autophagy is not really an on-off type mechanism. Um, your body is always going through autophagy. Well, maybe not always. If you have high levels of sugar in the body, there's probably no autophagy going on. Or if you have this severe inflammatory condition, you probably don't have any autophagy going on. But for most people, they have something going on. They have some type of recycling going on. Uh, especially if you're doing keto or you're exercising, but most definitely when you're fasting. So the more fasting that you do, you can create these huge effects with autophagy. So it's all a matter about degrees. How much autophagy are you in? Because people will ask, well, how, how long do I have to fast before I get into autophagy? Well, you're already in autophagy. But I will say that when you get to 18 hours, you're in some pretty good autophagy. And as you go to 20 hours, it's more. If you go a little longer, it's going to be more. But there is going to be a certain point where it kind of uh, plateaus. In some studies, you're saying 24 hours. In other studies, it's a little bit more, a little bit less. So they don't really know. The reason is because each part of your body has its own autophagy. For example, uh, there's a type of autophagy which recycles uh, mitochondria. That's the energy factory of the cell. There's other types of autophagy in your bone or in your lung or in your liver. So it's not an exact thing and it's very difficult to calculate. However, if I were you, I would just focus on doing all three of these things and trying to get to 18 hours or a little longer. And also, as you exercise and you become more fit, your efficiency with autophagy improves. So you actually get more autophagy than someone just starting out. So the benefits of autophagy are huge. It's an anti-aging benefit, plus it's getting rid of things that are very unhealthy for your body that can end up in degenerative diseases and inflammation. Um, so you have the combination of getting rid of this and an enhancing new body tissue. It's pretty cool. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now and I will actually keep you updated on future videos. Before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof Your Immune System. It's a free course. I want you to take it. And here's why. Here's you. Here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today. Hey, before